Cause I'm not trying to be yelling and fighting. It's time for my alter ego to come out. Yeah, I feel like Mark Aquila, I really need to recreate Mark Aquila and allow Mark Aquila to be Mark Aquila. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a Sasha Fierce moment. So I just want to come in and say that to y'all. But I'm about to enjoy my day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sprucing up. I'm a little better. I've been dancing all day. I'm gonna insert the little dance I did. I just be doing a little freestyle, y'all. I don't know really be trying to choreograph nothing. I just be turning the music on and moving. And I'm trying to channel my inner Marco Quilla. It's a whole new. It's new new. Mama said you're a pretty girl. What's in your head? It doesn't matter. Y'all, I had ran away to the beach. I got so much work to do, and I got a little overwhelmed in the house. So I was like, okay, let me run out real quick. So I came to the beach. I'm beaching it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just got a little slight comment that I'm thinking about because I'm seeing her watching old episodes of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta where they really used to be fighting. Like, I'm actually intrigued. Like, it's kind of nostalgic and it's good reality TV, right? I'm kind of like perplexed because I feel like Zeus Network has been getting a lot of backlash for producing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say. Okay, hold on. Let me put this on pause because I'm yelling. Okay, so I feel like Zeus has been getting a lot of backlash for its programming. You know what I'm saying? How, I guess, vulgar, how ratchet, how real it is. Now, I'm not going to, I I ain't even going to sit here and be like, okay, it's similar to Love and Hip Hop. But at one point in time, the girls was on major networks whooping ass. <sighs> now, I, okay, two things can be true at the same time. Nah. Zeus can go a little too far sometimes, but I feel like at least they showing it <laughs> and they just ain't going back and forth yelling and yelling the whole time. Because it's like sometimes you want to see a little action. You want it to be a little rowdy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. If it's just me, it's okay. Because me, myself, and I is all I got in the end. But yeah. That's what I found out, but nah, I just been chilling today. So I cleaned the camera, so it might look a little clearer. But y'all, do y'all, th I almost think I can make it on a reality TV show. I think, <sighs> Presented by City. I'm gonna have to be truthful. Like I'm gonna have to be the one crying and kind of scary. Cause I'm not trying to be yelling and fighting with these bitches. And the crazy thing about me though, cause I do slick, got a smart mouth. So I feel like they already gonna be trying to attack me. They already immediately not gonna like me because I got a smart mouth. Like just naturally. Like sometimes I don't even be meaning it sometimes and it come out like that. Whoo! Especially with like people I don't know. Let me keep watching. I would wanna throw a drink. Nah, okay. I would wanna do that. I just don't wanna have to fight for real, for real. Oh shit. Katami just threw a drink. Girl, that is hustling. I don't know what's going on right now. Where are the ladies at? Like, calm down. This is my hair, man. This is my real hair, man. Uh, that's the only clean with me. Just because you're not a f***er. Yo, what the f*** is wrong That's going to have to be me. I'm going to... Ah! Ah! But I'm going to throw the drink and then freak out. <laughs> so, I'm sitting here making breakfast. And you know what I just realized? LA really... If there is a such thing as an LA agenda... Why everybody, you move to LA, you're gonna be making avocado toast. You're gonna be going on hikes. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be smoking weed. You're gonna be doing yoga. Just outdoor walking. You, I, I just feel like LA does have this green juices. You drinking acai bowls every day, or at least twice a week. LA has an agenda, and I have failed victim to it.
next thing I'm gonna be plant based, which I already tried to be uh, plant based. I did veganism, so I was vegetarian for like maybe a month and a half, and then I did a month of veganism. It was fun. I do remember specifically um, feeling like I was sleeping better at the time. I felt lighter. You know, all the things that they try to sell you on. But what happened was I went on a cruise. And, you know, cruises be all you can eat. It was as soon as I got on the cruise, I got a burp. It was like immediately. I reverted completely black. I didn't have no stomach issues. And that was one of the things I was scared about. I thought I was going to have like a stomach thing, but... Nah, my body picked up where I left off. I was eating burgers, steak, ribs, bacon, eggs, cheese. Ooh. And ever since that day, I have not been able to go back. Like, I, here and there, I'll go like a few days without eating meat. Or, you know, I'll be going weeks without eating cheese. But, like, mm -mm. I like wings too much. It's an addiction. Salmon. Burgers. But really wings. Y'all know wings got me by the neck. <sighs> Choco. I think I'm burning my toes. Let me talk to y'all later. <laughs> my mother was a sailor. My daddy was a sailor. I got a lot of cheese. I think she's a flag. Okay. Uh, y'all, <laughs> first of all, don't even don't even try to judge me, okay? But I'm literally watching. I, I don't, Did I tell y'all? I have been watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta like the old season. This is season five. Why Jocelyn on here trying to give this girl, Tommy, a lecture about being the pop-off queen? Just fast forward to now. First of all, I never watched the series. What's the, the Jocelyn Cabaret? I never watched it. I do support the song, Do It Like a Show Be Day. Do It Like a Show Be Day. You know, that's my, you know, that's my saying. I say that to the girls all the time. But I never really seen the episode. I feel like I tried to watch... The first episode, because they put like the first episode of season one on YouTube, and in the first thirty minutes, the first thirty seconds, it was already too much going on, and it's crazy because I know I was just, I was just giving Zeus, you know, the accolades and everything, but I don't bash Zeus for it. You know what I'm saying? I like the fact that they, you know they stepping it up a notch. They giving you bad, you know, they, you know, the real, real, but. For me, that's too much for me. I can't. No, not that much. Not that much. Like the loving hip hop, the rock, this, yeah, this is enough. Cause you ain't seeing them physically. You just seeing, you know, the glasses, the the cups getting thrown, and you seeing like the little push, and then they skirt, and then cut it. On there, I heard they they knuckling and buckling. You seeing the girls flying across. You seeing eyelashes on the floor. Like it be a lot then that's just not for me. But it's crazy. Fast forward to today. Jocelyn's still out here fighting <laughs> on TV. <laughs> well, is Zeus considered TV or an app? On paid programming. <laughs> Yo. With each other without having to argue with each other and fight with each other and pull each other wave out and pull each other makeup and lashes out. We don't have to do that. All the time. I'm not only back here and I when you cuss, it just add a little more flavor to it. It's like a little. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> it just add a little character, a little personality, a little oomph. You know, shut up and shut the fuck up. That just sounds. Let me do it one more time. Listen, okay. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? When you add that. Fuck, you know, it just kind of, it's shaking, oh, it's shaking the table, it's shaking up a little bit, I don't know, that's what I've been thinking about today, <laughs> good morning, good morning, y'all, I just had to go for a walk to check my car, because I wasn't sure, so today's Wednesday, and I just wasn't sure what side of the street I parked on, because I haven't drove, moved my car since Sunday, <laughs> and I didn't have time for no ticket but thankfully we're on the Thursday side so we good to go um, so I'm just walking walking around the neighborhood chilling a little bit that's it and I'll tell y'all this almost in every video save yourself some trouble y'all if you move into LA please get an apartment with parking it's not that bad it's not that good though 
and the times that you really ready to get home, you will never find a parking spot. And then, I ain't gonna lie, you do have those days where luckily you just look up, but that's not all the time. It's to the point where I'm thinking about taking one of these little cones and trying to mark off a parking spot. Y'all think that'll work? Or you think that's illegal? I don't know. I ain't got time to be dealing with LA right now. I ain't got time. Whew. It's a nice little sunny day though. Sun outside, it looks pretty. Side note, I gotta go talk to these people about this no piercing because it's still that bump there. Like the bump has not gotten bigger or it hasn't changed, but it's the fact that the bump is still there. And I think maybe changing the thing would help. I, I don't know. Child, I waited till I was damn near 30 to get up here. So, <gasps> I'm old. Whoa. I'll take that back. I am 23. Anyway. And then this one, it be acting like it be getting swole. I don't. <sighs> I'm over them. Like, I like them. Like, I'm used to it now, but I'm about over this because they didn't heal right. And I don't, I went to this bougie little shop, <sighs> pay all this money and it ain't money in. And it was beachfront, so it was cute. So it was like, you know, I got my piercing and I just walked out to the beach. Like it was cute or whatever, but like, this ain't cute. I want my money back. Bitch, I need my money back, huh? But I, I need to get that monkey pop vaccine. All right, I'm still in Moonlight. I'm sending in my casting audition right now. <laughs> yeah, it's giving I need to get casted. Wait, was it this light? Ooh! Oh, that's crazy. That does make purple. Oh, well, it, I'm stupid. It is purple. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I got it done. I went ahead, got my monkey pops vaccine. Aye. Okay, so that's one less worry. They said it's kind of like COVID where it's two rounds, but um, they can't guarantee supply for the second round. But this initial vaccine, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't no medical health professional. So y'all need to go ahead and talk to y'all doctors or talk to y'all, whoever we all get y'all's from. But pretty much you were saying that with this one, you're good for up to three years. So yeah, but apparently it doesn't kick in until two weeks or so. So, and it wasn't that bad. I got here around like, it's, it started at 11. I got here probably like 10, 15. I was like one of the first in. I ain't gonna lie to you, I kind of cut the line, but it's not that I cut the line, it was just nobody was in line. Everybody was just kind of like scattered when I first got here. So I just, <laughs> I just walked to the front. <laughs> so, good to go, it is so hot. And I was standing all that time with this mask on, about to pass out. I can finally breathe. I can breathe clearly now, the mask is gone. Okay. So I do feel good. I went ahead and got that done out the way. Next, I do gotta check on this piercing thing though. I hit it when I was in the shower, so it's a little sore right now. But that's next on the agenda. But I feel like they are gonna try to make me buy a new earring. And um, I'm not trying to do that. So I got this stuff from Amazon. I'm gonna religiously, religiously use it and see what happens. Hopefully it go down and we'll go from there. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me get back home. <laughs> I'm starving. Woo, bitch, I'm tired. Let me get in the light. So I'm doing my laundry, my building just, y'all, so I'm away. I've been going up and down the stairs. I gotta do it more often because I'm on. I'm huffing and puffing too hard to be talking about I'm a dancer. Okay, so y'all, so like, my apartment just installed card machine readers on the washer and dryer downstairs. You used to have to get quarters. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> and getting quarters was like a headache because 
I would basically have to go to other laundromats to get the quarters to just bring them home. So they'd just be inconvenient. Like what? But, wow, I'm tired. Okay, but I did do hookah too. I think I was just talking about that. But um, now they got it set up to where you can just, so you add money to the app and then you pay the washer through the app. I'm in there tapping, <laughs> tapping. So excited about that. That's just so much more convenient because now it feels more like I have washer and dryer readily available versus having to figure out if I got enough quarters and all of that. So that's cool. So I'm gonna finish doing my laundry. I still gotta do this project. <sighs> I'm submitting for this project and I basically gotta make a video about it. And I think I'm starting to overthink it because it's kind of like, there are two different ways I feel like a winner can be selected and the way that I'm confident in the way that I'm doing it because I like the story behind it, but I can also see how the other way can uh, win. Um, Cause I'm, oh, let me tell y'all. So the way I'm kind of doing it, I'm doing it based off of like, kind of like autobiographical, documenting my life type of way, like from the beginning. And then there's another, the other way that I'm thinking is literally just a creative video. That's like, you know what I'm saying? creative um so yeah I, it just depends on what they're looking for i guess because mine is going to be more autobi autobiographical but i'm thinking there could be one with like a whole bunch of cuts and fancy like you know stuff like that so i'm kind of overthinking it but i'm just like Ugh. it is what it is like i'm still gonna go for it i'm just do what i do as long as i like it at the end of the day that's all that genuinely matters because i am still creating for myself um so yeah, that's why I've been at. Um, went on a job interview, didn't get the job. Um, yeah, that happened, but it's crazy because, <sighs> yeah, so I, I, I didn't get that job because it was crazy. Like they wanted me to start like immediately, immediately. That's what she kept emphasizing, immediate, immediate, immediate. And I was like, Ugh, I'm not really ready to work like right here, right now. Like ideally, another month, you know what I'm saying? Of me being able to just create unabashed, then really get a job locked down. That's how I'm thinking about it now, because realistically, you know, looking at my account, you know, did the math, I'm still fine. I like the fact, you know what I'm saying? So another month and then boom, for real, for real, apply, 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 get something for real, for real. I think that's what I want to do. Cause I kind of also want to enjoy this moment. Like I've been so stressed for a minute unnecessarily per usual i was stressed and then now i'm kind of like oh i can breathe a little bit and i kind of want to enjoy it because i wasn't enjoying it beforehand um I, I i like my space like i like my little studio you know what i'm saying she cute i just gotta keep her clean and i just feel like i don't know if it's adulthood or not but i feel like i gotta clean every two hours <laughs> every literally two hours every two minutes and 25 seconds to be exact it's like i'm always spilling something like <laughs> don't nobody want to do that but yeah i don't know it's just really starting to feel homey i mean i, I feel like it's been feeling home but because i haven't just been in here like that yeah it, it, you know what i'm saying but now i just feel like oh this is mine bro you know and it's been mine for over i think i I'm almost going to be in this apartment for two years. That's crazy. It don't really feel like it. I don't know. Oh, but anyway, I'm finished doing my laundry. Let me get my laundry. Okay. I'm going to sit down and catch my breath a little bit because it's about time for me to go get my laundry out the dryer. Because I, I don't wash three loads. Whew. Okay, so I pretty much finished all the laundry. I forgot. I gotta uh I gotta go through this stuff. So one of my friends had gave me, um, had did a closet clean out. And I was just like, oh shit, let me <laughs> let me shop your closet. And so they gave me a whole bunch of stuff and literally it's been in bags for months. 
months. It's been in bags for months. And I think I'm starting to feel the clutter because every time I walk, because I had it in my office, y'all know. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit because it's just, I, it's getting cluttery. I don't know what's going on here, but I got to get this situated. So I'm thinking about y'all, I ain't got no job. So I ain't, <laughs> I'm thinking about if I could make a trade with somebody, like that'd be lit. Cause I want a mirror, but I just want a smaller black round it. Oh, a curved mirror. That's what I want. Cause this Ikea mirror, it's just too big. It's just not giving. Like, it's taking up too much space. But I'm going to have to deal with it because y'all don't want to trade with me. Y'all don't be trading. <laughs> I was really thinking about it because this is a whole look. Okay, I look a hot mess. And this ain't, you know, the angle for real. But I should be. I love my brick wall. <sighs> This mirror, ugh. I yeah, we ain't never hung out right here before, you know? Right by the window, type of aesthetic. Mm. Like, hold on, let me move it. Wait, let me. Yes, I, I, okay. Do you think, there's nowhere else this mirror could go. Wait. Y'all think I could put the mirror Okay, move that TV out that corner. If I could put the mirror in that corner, then what, the TV would have to go. You know what's crazy? I don't care enough to try all this. I'm just gonna put this back here. Um, and if I wanna take a picture or something, just move it out the way. That's practical. I can just move it. Just like I did just now. But yes, I do like this. But I do, but I do want a smaller mirror eventually. But yeah, oh my God. I like this little corner. I have to do a little, yeah, I want this corner. Oh, I like how this corner fits. Okay, I need to get, yeah. You gotta move. Bitch. I like this corner. Wow. I'm dragging it, but it's almost like I want to put like a little chair or something right there. Like a little nook. Probably put a little plant, like a little hanging plant or something. Girl, you too big. Part is, I was so thirsty to get this mirror because I knew all... Everybody was talking about the mirror. Everybody was talking about the mirror. And I was like, okay, I do need to get a mirror. I need to get one. Didn't even really take into account my space. I just bought the mirror, not realizing that the mirror is way too big. I knew it was too big. I mean, I got it into my uh, Volkswagen Jetta, by the way. Um, I was, squ squ oh my God, squalls. I was driving like this because I had to let my seat all the way up. Because it went through the trunk. Too big. Damn. It's been here for... And it's crazy. Like, it don't even feel like it. But I've literally been here in this apartment almost two years. Like, it's crazy. So, I've been putting up with it for two years. And now, all of a sudden, I want to, like, change it. I want to change it up. Because I knew it when I bought it. It was too big. <laughs> I knew when I bought it that it was too big.